Hello friends, welcome to Embedded Gate. In this video, I am going to show you the LED Blink project. First, open MPLAB XID. In last video, we have already created the LED Blink project. You can find the video link in description. Click on plus sign. Open source files. Now double click on main.c. We are going to write LED Blink code here. First we are going to include the header file using hash include. The header file name is xc.h. This header file includes all controller information. Next we have to do some hardware arrangement. First we have to define crystal oscillator. The command is hash pragma config oscillator equal to hs which is stand for high speed oscillator. We are going to use external oscillator. Next we have to turn off the watchdog timer. And next we have to turn off the LVP right off here LVP stand for low voltage programming we going to do same arrangement for all the projects next define crystal frequency we going to use hash define XTL frequency which is 16 megahertz on next line we going to start for main project Write int main opening and closing bracket and opening and closing curly bracket. Here we are going to write the main code. To write a main code we need the data sheet. Open data sheet. We need to know which register we have to use for LED bling. And this is the IC diagram. I am going to attach LED to pin number 38 which is RB5. Next scroll down and search for IO ports. On page 89 you will find IO ports. There is port A information but we need port B. Now scroll down. There is port B. Now scroll down, three registers are there which is port B, LATB and TRISB. We are going to use this three register for LED Blink project. Now read the description of this pin. Port B is an 8 bit wide bidirectional port. The corresponding data direction register is TRISB. Settling a TRISB bit equal to 1 will make the corresponding port B pin an input and clearing the TRISB bit will make the corresponding port B pin as an output. Here we are going to make pin output that's why I am going to copy TRISB equal to 0. I am going to write 0 cross 00. zero cross stand for hexadecimal value here port is 8 bit wide that's why i'm going to use hex representation here all port b pins are output pins next start while loop this code is continuously running and next register is data latch register which is latb which is used to make pin high and low Copy this register, paste here, control V and equal to. Now we have to turn on the LED which is connected to pin number 5. That's why I have write 8 bit here. Bit number 5 is 1 and all bits are 0.
data representation is 0 cross 20. This is binary to hex representation. Now write a delay here. This compiler have inbuilt delay. Write double underscore delay underscore ms and 1000, 1000 for 1 second. Next we have to make pin low. Write LATB equal to 0 cross 00, 00 and after that add delay. Our code is complete. Now build the code and check for the errors. Build successful. Next attach pickkit3 programmer to controller and your com port. Run the program. Press OK. Don't forget to turn on the power supply. Now turn on the power supply and run the program. Press OK. Device ID is found. Programming and verify complete. Remove the programming connector pins and make a circuit on breadboard make a led longer terminal is anode and shorter is cathode we are going to connect anode terminal to the pin pb5 take a connecting wire connect pin pb5 to anode cathode pin to ground now turn on the power supply You will see LED will start blinking. In next video, I will show you how to control single pin of a controller. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe.